Have you ever been to a big star-studded event and just wish that you had some kind of chaperone to show you around and introduce you to all the big players? Well, luckily my date tonight is Miss Peppermint. Oh, hey baby, I'm sorry I'm so late. My private helicopter just arrived. It's a special exclusive feature on Lyft. <laughs> I'm blocked from Lyft. You can only throw up three times and then they just cut you off for life. Uh, let's go meet the boys. Welcome to the 16th annual Jeffrey Fashion Cares Fashion Show, a fundraiser for queer civil rights and HIV research. Max, I'm so happy that you asked me to come and join you. This is the best place to be. A ship, gorgeous models, charitable hearts. I'm loving it all, and you, so gorgeous. Since its inception in 2002, Jeffrey Fashion Cares has raised over $11 million for its beneficiaries. All right, guys, we've got the Jeffrey of Jeffrey Fashion Cares. First of all, thank you so much for doing this every single year. 16 years now? 16 years now. What was the impetus for, for starting this in the first place? How did you get started? Well, I started 28 years ago in Atlanta as an HIV breast cancer benefit. And then when we opened the store in New York 20 years ago, we wanted to try to do something for the community here. Marty, how many times have you been to this show? This is actually my very first time at Jeffrey Fashion Cares, and I'm hosting, I'm one of the hosts for the live auction, so we're just diving <laughs> right in. I'm not messing around, like we're here for the kids, we gotta raise money, okay? You can forego one week on Fire Island to give. Hello, yes, I'll take true. the share. Yes. <laughs> Everybody, I would like you to meet one of my closest friends, Alex Roke. He's in charge over at the Alley Forney Center. That's right. How long have you been there? Uh, nine years now. Can you tell everybody what it is that the Alley Forney Center does? Uh, the Alley Forney Center is the nation's largest and most comprehensive organization dedicated to housing homeless, lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender young people. These are kids who are kicked out of their homes because of their identity. Stealing the show every single time. That's my favorite thing about Peppermint, actually, is I just completely disappear in a crowd. It's wonderful. Um, if there are any gay boys at home somewhere in the Midwest, somewhere that it's not okay for them to come out, do you have any advice for them? Find your local organization that can help you. Go to the Ali Forney Center website, aliforneycenter.org, and you can find a resource in your community, and you can find a way to get to New York if there's nothing for you in your community. There's help and there's support at every level. So we'll see you here. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. In just a few moments, this airplane hangar is going to be filled with hundreds and hundreds of people. I haven't done a fashion show in almost 10 years. So there's three walks we want to do. Number one is, I just got here. And I don't know where I am. That's the first one. The second walk is, I'm a little injured or drunk, whichever one you decide. And the third one is, is that my man over there? Go. The next one is, I'm a little bit injured or drunk. And the big one, take it home is, is that my man over there? All right, Ms. Peppermint, are you ready to go backstage and talk to some of the male students? I thought you would never ask. I need a husband. It's time to go. Let's go. What is your name and where are you from? Yago Botello. I'm from Brazil. Oh, I don't know what you said, but I'm all about it. And can you tell us your name and where you're from? Uh, Lou Doris, and I'm from Virginia. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio originally. So we're here with Milk, and I'm so excited. The first time we ever met in person, the tables were turned. You were interviewing me because yeah. I had just done my season for Drag Race. Yes, I remember that at Boxers. At Boxers. Here we have a model in their natural habitat taking a picture right about to reveal. No shirt. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. Now's the perfect time. Let's talk to him. What is the most difficult thing? Give me that shirt in a runway show. What's the most difficult thing? Nothing. It's all, everything is easy. Everything is easy. Isn't that the story of life? So uh, what's the most difficult thing about walking in a fashion shop? Uh, making sure you don't trip and not thinking about not tripping because if you think about it, then you might trip. The hardest part... The hardest. ...is just being focused and, I mean, your body and your diet and just looking good. That's honestly the hardest part, at least for me. Oh, no, I failed! 
don't don't walk with your shoulders. Like that's like okay. the but that's what men think is like powerful walking. It's just like loosen up. Loosen up. Yeah. So what did you eat mm, for breakfast? For breakfast, eggs, avocado and bread. Okay, sounds good. Eggs and bread. Cinnamon Brown sugar oatmeal. Um, I don't eat breakfast, actually. I do intermittent fasting where I don't eat till like 2 in the afternoon. 2020 is when he's going to eat next. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, break a leg. No, don't break a leg. Cyberman, That's a you thing. cannot interrupt their photo shoots. Oh come on, God. come on. So the whole reason I'm here is to see Max Emerson shirtless again. And he's looking so gorgeous. Now, he doesn't really have the walking thing down yet. Don't tell him he's not the pro at walking. But he's looking gorgeous as he poses. Are you looking forward to walking tonight in the Tonight Show? Yeah, I've decided to go with the that's my man face look walk. Okay, so angry and direct. Max Emerson, fresh on the runway. He's getting ready to do his thing. Looking gorgeous. Oh! <laughs> These guys are 42 of the most famous, fabulous supermodels in the world. I came, I walked, I thirsted after Chad White. You can't have a better night than that. Thank you. Oh, oh my goodness, this was amazing, baby. You were fantastic. Is there anything else you want to do? Uh, I'm exhausted. Let's go get some dinner. Uh, no, honey, I already got a snack. Oh!